Welcome everybody, I'm Jhar Ellis, and today I have a special Builder Spotlight on PCEU for Lotlurian. I'm going to go to eight of their homes and we'll get some decoration inspiration here. The idea here is that they built a lot of homes around a lot of their in-game characters and we'll see what they look like. A variety of homes in different styles pertaining to their various characters and we'll go and kind of see what housing is like anymore. And this should be, this should be fun. So we're going to start here in their Doomtar Plateau, which you can see is very, uh, a little bit of a scary place. They say, oh, there'll be, there'll be things behind the portal there, too. It's the house of the Khajiit Daedralicist, Dar Marisa, who got sucked up too much into her field of study and started to share this little piece of land with some friendly-ish towards her Daedra. All Daedra are welcome. All your needs will be met here, torture room included. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of... Oh, maybe scary Daedra things here, which is perfect for Dimter Plateau. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little, little dark. We have the Oblivion, Obsidian, and Deadland style looking, looking sharp here. I'll have to, I'll go back through. There's something back behind there. I'll go there at the end. Great use of lighting. Great use of all these magical elements like the globules and the far grave gems. Definitely looks like a place of study, right? place of magic, a place of power. Oh, these poor dead things being studied and used. All good, all good. It's been a while since I've done a more of a vaudded tour here, so we'll just get some inspiration. Go through relatively quickly, just going from scene to scene. An amazing library. I actually have a library contest coming up in just a couple days. Looking forward to that, too. I really like how they have the curtains on the bookcases. Kind of like, keep the dust out. <laughs> Maybe used rarely. I'm going to get lost. I already feel super lost, but that's fun. There's so many rooms that they've been adding here. This is all built up from scratch. The floors, the walls, the ceilings. This isn't just decorating inside of a home. It is building a home with all these structural furnishings. Try to keep it how I find it. There'll be more to see outside as well. I will try to explore everything. Looks like we're doing some sort of a ritual here. Oh, can I hop up that? Oh, that's kind of fun. Maybe it's a little too high there. <laughs> Looks like you couldn't hop up it. I like the use of the platform being used upside down as a planter instead. Especially with all the kind of creepy Daedra color scheme plants going on. Fantastically creepy. Really fitting the color scheme of Doomchar with the blacks and the reds. A little ominous, powerful. Keep exploring along. Bit of a twisted nature to everything in here. And this is just the first of eight homes. Oh, they do have a torture room. Oh, how lovely is that? Yes. Now all the spooky things any Daedralicist needs. <laughs> oh no. Oh, a little too spooky, a little too spooky. Lots of death. Spooky skeletons and Daedrats. Yeah, it's just like an exercise room, right? Right? Ooh, good use of the sulfur pools. It's a fantastic furnishing you get from the Fargrave Achievement Furnishing Vendor. It's like a cursed swamp out here. I, I like the look of it. Makes it feel like it's full of toxins and nasty things, which fits the feel of the place. <laughs> Exercise, right, right. 
Otlerine is here in Twitch chat as well. I appreciate that. Okay, we'll go and see what is behind the portal at some point, but there's more rooms on this side. It's such a huge, expensive build. It'll be a bit of a mix of different house types here as well. We have some notable homes. This is a notable home. You can put 700 items in it, which means you can add quite a lot of details, add a lot of rooms. Oh, that's you! That's you! That's that's the character! Okay. Khajiit de Drolicist. Oh, I see that they're making some fun things. Uh, adding a little spice to that. Oh, perfect. Just, uh... Hope that's coming along nice. <laughs> Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> uh, I'll be the first to get a bite. Uh, I, maybe? Cool, cool. So they're here in character. That was fun, that was fun. Okay, and I think I will go back to the portal room. Oh, cool. Like how they added the little Deadlands kind of radiator into there, adds a lot of glow to it. Deadlands wall spikes, I think is what it's called. Oh, it can go up. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Oh, the creepy skulls up on the wall. It's like our fancy Daedric Forge, right? Surrounded by dead things. It seems appropriate. It seems appropriate. Okay, amazing, amazing. What a, what a great way to start. And then we have seven more homes from... Well, Lurian, and we'll go and explore. I have a different character up next. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Repair things that, uh, that are often make sense. Okay, sweet webs. Oh, they say low gamma recommended. Okay, and first person. I'll, I'll do that for this next one. Okay, Ebenhart Chateau. I'll read this little blurb when I get in. Make it a little darker. They say low gamma in first person will be the better way to view this, and I like to view things how they're intended to be viewed. So if I go to my gamma, I can turn it down a bit. I'll make things a little, well, darker overall, but more high contrast. And first person, I'll go in first person here. Oh, this is Ebenhart Chateau, but they completely changed up the entryway, the courtyard here. So they say, don't be afraid if you have an honest heart. House of Lilibati, the disobedient necro-vamp healer. That creepy monster that, who lurks in the dark for sinful souls. She will not hesitate to take over any evil creature and plays with it until satisfied. She sometimes helps desperate people end evil deeds and is not afraid to punish by death those who hurt innocent. But on the other hand, she can also heal you or give you the right potion for your problem. Despite this, most people are afraid of her, although she only hurts those who deserve it. Okay, Necro Vamp Healer. Oh, fun. Okay, a little bit of a dark and healy feel to it. I just want to see, is it... There's seven, is, is there 700 items here? Is there stuff hidden behind the tapestry? Is this all a front? It's just nice so far. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like there might be things hidden behind the tapestry. As if it's just all a ruse. Hmm... So custom build. Uh, everything that you see here has been added from floor to ceiling to walls. Just a nice little place for a Debella worshipper, right? I see little Debella sigils and statues about. Looking good. Why do I have a feeling there's something behind the tapestry? Uh, oh! Oh no! <laughs> it's a little spooky. Oh, it goes from this, this beautiful, pristine home. It's all a front. It's all just dressing. It's a trap. It's a trap. For dishonest souls. I see, I see. And then we get into the more vampy necro vibes back here with an Evan Hart. And Evan Hart has this dark elf style to it, so it has all the jagged edges up on the top and everything, spikes, and it's a little intimidating that way, so it's good for a build like this. 
Okay, Necro digging up bones. I'll stay in first person per their request. Oh, might be different things to go explore. Oh, looks like the tower is blocked off. That's a good way of doing that. Sweet mother statue with weeping. Looks good. Trixie. It's fun. It's a fun way of doing it. Yeah, so Lot Lorraine has a lot of different characters, and they range from dark to more wholesome. So we're starting with a couple of the darker ones. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I like a mix. I like a variety. That's kind of a thing with ESO, with uh, Daedric Princes and everything. You're constantly dealing with life and death situations. You have necromancy and all these sorts of... You know, lots of ter terrifying things when you think about them. Um, Tamriel always in peril, always in chaos, and so you get you get a mix. You get the creepy, deathy, culty things that go on, but then you also get you know heroes that kind of rise up in there as well and hold some hold some people too. This is Lot Lurian, Lot Lurian. Spooky things, spooky things. More sulfur pools looking good. It's a little bit of a Mafala worshipper here. Lovely, lovely. With all the webs. Webs and the horvers and the spiders about. Looks like I can go in. They modified the door here with the Deadlands door to make it a little bit scarier, a little spookier. I will uh, try to see if I can leave it the way I found it. I guess I won't. <laughs> I'll make an exception. Okay, being greeted by a couple of some skeletons here. Necro Vamp Healer. So you can see a lot of vampiric furnishings about. Blood is kind of the theme. Good red color scheme. Yeah, oh, it's a big, a big old punch bowl here. Perfect. <laughs> and we'll go explore everything. We have a feast. Feast. Full of creepy things. Creepy things. Creepy things are fun. Well, Lorraine says, in this house, house guests moving inside and outside the house. Pathing was quite tricky. So there's some sort of a trick to make it so that you can have your character pathing nodes connect between the inside and the outside. Do you swap them somehow? There, there's some trick to it. We'll have to look at that another time. That's clever, though. Continuing with the Cold Harbor-themed library up above. Very magical, very magical. Oh, as long as you know the coordinates of both parts of the house, you can make it work. Oh, you put down the node inside, go outside, and recall the last node from inside. Oh, clever, clever. That way, your characters, your pets and mounts and house guests and whatnot, can be in both the inside and the outside. Not at the same time, but... Oh, Crimson gifting us up to Lotlorian. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Oh, we have a happy little... What is this? Happy little chain randomly here. It seems slightly suggestive. That's fine. <laughs> what are what controls? Moo, 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 moo. Mantisan with Prime. Thank you, thank you. Stay a little focus face for a VOD on this for now, though. Appreciate ya, appreciate ya. You're welcome to spam with the emote wall, though. I have all sorts of creepy things in here. I should be scared. But I'm an invited guest of Lotler in here, so nothing nothing bad will happen here in the House of Lilabati, the Disobedient. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, blocking this other wall off with uh, nice Deadlands bookcases looks fantastic. 
a little bit, a little bit mysterious because I know that there's like a path on the other side of that, but I think it's just blocked off for now. Okay, going down. Mullig ball vibes. Creepy necro healer things going on. I wonder if they're more dedicated to the necro side of things or the healing side of things. I feel like it's more the necro side of things. <laughs> they heal a few things, but... Also dish out a lot of punishment. Oh, I like how you sunk that down in. It's like it's being summoned up out of the ground. That's that's a clever thing to do. I'm kind of pushing it down into the ground a little bit, right? It's like it's rising up out of it. And we can see your character here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so this is great having Lutler in here. You'll be able to uh, see all of her characters as we go through. Oh, I love how active this scene is. That's awesome. I'll actually get some screenshots as I go through. Needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Oh, it could be that. Oh, that's, that's really active. I love all the color. I can see why you want me to be in low gamma. Okay, continuing along. Creepy dungeon vibes. Deal, good deal. Okay, and I think that will mostly do it. Six more homes to go. We'll uh, keep moving along for now. Means no harm to me. Oh, f f for now, for now. <laughs> Not dead yet. <laughs> and then she can maybe use me somehow. Okay, next up. Okay, kind of same deal with this next one as well. Common Cottage. I'll go ahead and read this. They say, locals tend to avoid the ruin of the old Mochad Chapel, saying that weird energy is gathered there, and in that night, even the ominous aura is glowing from there. They noticed that an odd hermit calling herself Guardian of the Green started to live there. She does not seem evil, but everyone feels that she is best to keep her as an ally. Rumors say that she can bend the old raw magic for the good deeds, but for the bad deeds, either. What is truth and what is just a myth of sacred town folks? Okay, twisted green magic. Huh, sounds fun. If, if you'll die, she'll help with that, too. Yep, <laughs> imagine so. Ooh, twi twisty green witchy vibes. Exercise come cottage, a great place for that. Ooh, I like how doors all broken. It's just a matter of placing that well. A bit of a warning here with the skulls and everything, right? Skulls and skeletons. Are we gonna find our hermit? Exercise come cottage has a kind of a small courtyard and then a hut, so we'll kind of see what they've done with it. Kind of blocked off. I'm wondering if there's like a little bit of like a secret somewhere. I think that the actual... Oh, no, it is here. Hut is accessible. Okay. I'll explore the courtyard before I check out the inside of the hut. <laughs> no, cutting off remains here. All sorts of spooky things. Seems like Lotlorian likes this darker side so far. I think they have some happier homes too coming up. Maybe. <laughs> But what is truth here? Maybe there's happy. There's just a happy healer, right? Even building up outside of the bounds here a bit. Definitely? Okay, definitely. It's fun to explore all the different aspects of housing within ESO. 
can get really creative with how you place things. Really says a lot about the characters that live here. Big bubbling cauldrons and mushrooms active. Garden. Looks like you don't want to mess with any of the plants in there. In for a rough time. And then we have a house guest here. Which is doing some sort of magic. Druidic feel to it. It's a little happier here. Happy mushrooms. Oh, we have a side note. We have a side note. And then inside the house, we have... Oh, yeah. More, more druidic furnishings inside. Oh, that's clever. They've sunk down the provisioning station to isolate some of the kettles and things on top of that. Fun way of getting some of the more high-resolution furnishings to show up on a tabletop. Kind of a bit of a hunting cabin vibe as well. Lots of game that's been caught. With an ice box. And creepy things. Oh, there we are. There's Lotlarian. Maruvial El Nofi. Guardian of the Green. Well, she looks friendly enough. She's just misunderstood, yes? <laughs> with the cadaver on the table. Need high resolution? I know, I know. Misunderstood, misunderstood. But severed heads ev everywhere. This is fine. <laughs> and witchy friends. Pretty humble living accommodations, aside from that, seems to be mostly dedicated to her work. Maybe we can energize this somehow. I love your character costume design here, too. Looking fantastic. Really matching the home with all the the ivies about. With that green. Oh, no. She's sad. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe this was her loved one. Can't bring them back. A little, a little past their prime. <laughs> I mean not. Oh no. I love the busyness of the interior. Like everything is slightly chaotic, but it seems like everything has a purpose to it, right? The ivy is the best. Ivy, the ivy really matches the kind of druidic style going on. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Going through relatively quickly on all of this. We'll keep going along. Thank you for keeping up with the with the costume changes too. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, next up. A lot of papers on my desk. Oh, more of a red guard style, eh? Saying a guest journal with essential housing tools. Always a fun thing to do. House of the Silent Magnifico. A little bit of a smaller home. They say, you surely know the legendary treasure hunter, Folly and Lucky, no? Really? Anyway, welcome to this little inn. He established it after he gathered enough gold from his adventures, and now he is using it as his base for trading, and of course, to moisten dry throats of his regular customers. For those who need it, there are even free beds for the night's peaceful sleep before venturing into the Alakir Desert. Folly and Lucky. Folly and Moo, 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 moo. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Oh, I see. So we have an inn. We have food. We have drinks. Looks like a fun time here. We have sugar pipes. We have skooma. Hmm. <laughs> I like all the pillows and, and bedrolls and everything. It, it makes it a nice, comfortable feel, right? Is that your Alfik character? Maybe. <laughs> this is a little lion. Wait, wait, they're coming in. And 
definitely building off the Red Guard theme. Oh, what fantastic aquarium built in here. There's this there's this pool that they added with the Galen achievement furnishing vendor. It's just like a giant ring of water. And, and normally I'd be down like this, but you can put it upside down. And then it looks like you're looking up at the surface of the water, so it looks like everything else is underwater. That's a, a clever, clever illusion going on with that. I really like I really like the look of it. Huge aquarium. I must feel it. And with the fish swimming about and kind of coral looks down below, it's really immersive. Lovely, lovely. Hmm, bathroom back here? Hidden room? Hidden room? Bathroom! Hey! <laughs> so, it's our assembly general friend from uh, Hells of Fabrication. Perfect, perfect. Helps a lot of people go through that to get their trophies. Oh, secret bedroom behind the curtains here. Okay, fantastic. Love the pool achievement furnishings. More, more water would be great. Okay, great red guard style. With the water up above. Oh, they're here. I'll go. I'll go see what the character looks like. I'm impressed they were able to swap so quickly. <laughs> Let's see. Are they in the skooma skooma rooms? Oh, no, I lost them. Where are they? Where are they? If I had to guess, where would they be? There might be details behind the cabinet here. Kitchen. Missed some rooms downstairs. Oh, uh, there's more? Oh, 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 I see, I see. Oh. Oh, oh, I see, I see. There we are. The lion lucky expert excavator i see this is all an inn but it's really a front for like kind of like a fencing operation <laughs> they're excavating things hidden treasures old old secrets valuable things this is cool it's all hidden right here it's like yeah yeah you have your you have your happy little skooma rooms and your your drinks and the rooms up above and the beautiful aquarium. It's all a distraction. All a distraction. It's all legal. It's all. It's all legal. It's all. It's all on the level. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll let you make that distinction. Cool. Well, they've been very successful then. Very successful. Excavating all sorts of things. Maybe cut and deals with uh, business folk that come through. It's all legal. Okay. Okay. Don't want to get your details wrong. Okay, awesome, awesome use of the treasure room. I like how you broke this up. You know, hanging tapestries or carpets is a fantastic way of breaking things up and hiding secrets, because any, anybody in housing should kind of know anymore to always check behind tapestries, right? You might just be surprised what you find there. I like the layers and the maps and everything. It's kind of like you're planning out your next excavation, right? I'm sure there are some on the level excavators in in Tamriel. Not not everybody's into thieving all the time. <laughs> Walk like we're in a dark room, hands on the walls. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you so much. It's fun to see all your different characters too. They definitely have a, a lot of personality to them. Seems like they like having the in room. Seems like it's a good cover for them being able to drink a lot. <laughs> Help themselves to all the best. Okay. Oh, I don't have permission for your next home. Not Larian. Can you port there? Fix that fast? Or I could skip it. I'll go to your Ravenhurst if you want to go and fix Proud Spire really fast. Okay. I'm skipping over to Ravenhurst first.
Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Give them a couple minutes to fix that then. Okay, they say... Okay, for Ravenhurst, they say the current owner has a good reputation among residents as a merchant, traveler, alchemist, and a bit of a weirdo. He stays in seclusion, and when he occasionally visits the local inn, it happens that he shares interesting and mysterious stories from his own, as he calls them, business trips. Many people think that most of them are made up, but only a handful of his friends, who often come to him for longer visits and some accompanying him on his travels, know where the truth is. Okay, merchant, traveler, alchemist, and weirdo. With interesting tales that are unbelievable to share. Okay, or owner of an uh, inn, it seems. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't let me in. <laughs> no. Well, uh, I'll go check this in. In. I'll just take this. Check this in out. What am I saying? Dariana, thank you, thank you, appreciate you. Okay, mysteries afoot here. Tall tales, unbelievable stories being shared by the inn owner. For the most part, it seems quaint. Like, may maybe there's a bit more going on behind the scenes. It just feels nice. Feels It's a, a pleasant inn. Go get a drink, get some nice, fresh, warm food. Hearty meals here. Looks very pleasant. Quite inviting. Love the music playing. I forget this has a courtyard. It does not have a courtyard there. You know, rent a bed. It's not nothing too great, but it'll get you through the night. <laughs> Prowler Tapestry from Tribute. Maybe a little frightening. Tiny Mystery. Details and books will give a hint. Oh, uh, there's a book here. Invocation of Azura. So there might be there might be a little mystery. A little bit of a mystery. Well, you have a vampire Khajiit in here. That might be... It's a little bit of a darker hint. Not everything has to be spooky and terrifying all the time, right? More books? Little hints? Red Book of Riddles. Oh. Riddles, riddles, riddles. Some unbelievable story. Something something that they're telling people that they just can't believe, but they there's something more to it. I seem not to be able to read. Hmm. Not all vampires are creepy or evil. This is true. Oh, I love the little pepper bed in the corner. <laughs> Has a nice fresh water dispenser there as well. Crow and Raven. Three short fables. That's a really fun read, by the way. Well, there could be things up that way or that way. Nice bathroom. <laughs> Assembly general there again. Ah, oh, fantastic. I like how it's elevated up. Hmm, I see a tapestry on the wall. I wonder what could be behind it. I'm not going to fall through a carpet, am I? Maybe, maybe something here. Maybe a little something. Oh, I see that they're paddling through there. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Bit of a dark brotherhood feel here. <laughs> People voted in the Twitch poll. Best Stargate furnishing. It was split between Moon's Blessed Pool and the Fire Song Spring. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Dark brotherhood mark here. It maybe explains the target here. The bounty. I can see why they would be wealthy, wealthy and well traveled and everything. Okay, a little secret, a little secret, a little Dark Brotherhood secret's always fun. Got in the courtyard. And really beautiful with the character padding with the horses and everything. Makes it feel so alive.
And great use of using all the plants and everything. Big mushrooms, love that. You can really build up based off of the size of whatever plants you're using. Yeah, beautiful end. Hitch up your horse there and be protected by RK. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, the, the mother statue was right at the entrance, so I missed that little hint. And Sithis and Ravens. I see, I see. Ravens and... Oh, the mother statue right there. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And Sithis. Okay, okay. Little hints. Little hints to the Dark Brotherhood side of things there. Cool, cool. Did you want to pop in on this character before I move back to your Proud Spire? Didn't give you a lot of time for that. Otherwise, I'll just kind of make another loop around. Okay, logging in. Okay, okay. Traveling about. I'm have a nice rest at this. A little bit more if I can upscale in. This is quite fancy, actually. Oh, they're not, not shy to share tales. They have quite an adventuresome life here. <laughs> Lucrative, too. Seems, seems to be nice. Hmm. <laughs> okay, give you give you a moment to pop in, and then we'll go over to your proud spire. I like all the details with like hanging mugs there. It's like, how do you want to show how this place is used? Right? It's mostly pretty organized and orderly. Everything looks nice and fresh. Really open with a with a dog padding about. Makes it a bit more friendly, casual feel to it. A bit of a happier feel to it. Okay, I'll go to Proud Spire Night. Okay. <laughs> so. Has a crash, unfortunately. Okay, Prospire Manor is now open, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And say, here lives the warrior of Thane of Solitude, Gunder Wanterfoot, head of the Winterfoot clan. Is it Winterfoot or Wanterfoot? Head of the Winterfoot clan, as a proud Nord, Gunder. As a proud Nord, he displays his adventures, his trophies, and his faith in his house. And as a true Nord, he has always food and meat at the ready for him and his friends. If you are up for an adventure, you can join his party and discuss a plan for the next adventure by the round table upstairs and prepare some armor, weapons, or potions for the upcoming quest. Okay, Thane of Solitude. <laughs> I made a mystery, apparently. That'll be fine. Let me know if you can log in on this Gunder. Okay, so Proud Spire Manor in Western Skyrim. Nord stylings to it. So it's fun to see all the different variety. We've gone from, you know, like Daedric to Redguard to all, all sorts of fun styles with the different characters here. Okay, Nord stylings here. Quite like the Western Skyrim furnishings. Oh, that was quick. Gunter Winterfoot. There we go. <laughs> Thane of Solitude. Oh, I like the stylings. Is that, uh, Evan Steel? Mostly. Can I open this coffer? Oh, maybe I can. Maybe there'll be something hidden in it. Just for me? Maybe. Ooh. Mystery. Okay, good. <laughs> Looks like it's a party here. Looks like you already, uh, are ahead of yourself on the party, partying. I, I certainly like the little, the little bust you have up there. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. 
powerful. Glorious, glorious. More house there. Okay, fun, fun, fun. So I can plan around things. Knew I'd come someday. Oh, great, great. Thank you. I'm going to be here. Okay, and planning adventures here. Oh, busy, busy. Planning out a trip. Clues within the books as to where to best go next. A little chaotic. I, li I like the feel of it. Okay, fun, fun, fun. This must be their office then. Oh, it's a Ethereum's art banner. That's fun. Special promotion for for one of the contests from a ways back. I don't think I was in the guild at the time. <laughs> I am now, though. Missed the one room upstairs. Oh, I missed something upstairs. Okay, I'll go back. We have drinks and kitchen downstairs. Has a nice warm feel to it. Otherwise, it'd feel quite drafty with all the stone about. Oh, so we can practice here. <laughs> like a target dummy. Pumpkin face on it. Grab a sword, grab grab a spear, and practice your fighting skills. Craft up our armor and everything here. Awesome, awesome. Oh, something here. Hello, bedroom. That's a fun way of using the antiquity furniture there. Is that the luxury, luxury one? Oh, which one is it? It's a noble's night rest. Put upwards, and that makes a nice relief statue up on the wall. Okay, going back up. I missed I missed a room, and I'll take a courtyard out, too. Okay, where did I go? not go? Wait, how, how did I miss a room? <laughs> how... Oh, up, up this way. Okay, okay, cool. I have a private bath. And I built it up. That's a smart way of doing it. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. And then courtyard down below. I like the use of like the various statue pieces, just like isolating little bits of it, right? Aren't actually very many placeable weapons within housing. Hope they robot by sometime. But you can isolate things from swords, or like from antiquities and statues and things like that. <laughs> oh, there's not a stinky pig. No, I see, I see. Oh, I like the uh, outdoor space you've added here too. Clever as adding the magna geode to the axe there. Really brightens it up. Makes it look a little bit more, like, enchanted and powerful as well. I like how you've really added a lot of blue hues to the shrine here. Cold solitude feel to it. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Keep your butt warm outside by sitting on a fox pelt. <laughs> I suppose that works. <laughs> okay, good deal, good deal. Jarl's weapons from Skyrim. That makes sense. Okay, cool, cool. 
isolating like a cart wheel that has a shield up on the wall. Well, some bow weapons that you can put up on the wall. Oh yeah, they swords tend to stick out a little bit better, right? Maybe they'll get there at some point. Place your armor and weapons up on the wall. Okay, thank you, thank you again. And with that, I have two homes left. Hall alone champion next. Yeah, a Dark Elf statue from a luxury vendor has a bow. Kind of off to its side. Hard to isolate it. Okay, what do we know about Hall alone champion? Ooh. Darker, maybe elsewhereified. Oh, remodeled from scratch pirate townhouse. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Oh, I see pirate kind of thieves refugee thing here going on. Okay, house of the pirate captain, Ravina Mel Menentum and her crew. She is an imperial deserter who ran away from the Three Banners War after her parents were killed. She is blessed by the call of dragon blood, and this gift resonates strongly as dragons reappeared in elsewhere. Her interest in dragons made her stays longer on the land, so she and her crew managed to create a shelter for every person in need to stretch their legs, relax, and make some gold hidden from the eyesight of the government. Okay, so like a pirate pirate town here. It was completely made, made from scratch. Yeah, all, everything that you see here has been added. Yeah, this definitely has this kind of busy kind of refuge feel with goods coming in and out all boxed up. Probably, probably not all on the level like before. <laughs> okay, it looks like it can go into the Halls of Colossus wing. Also, if there's anything hidden back here, but I don't think there is. Okay. <laughs> now I'm paranoid about missing tapestries. Oh, it is a busy pirate town. Oh, it's like happy. I like that. I like that. A lot of different merchant stalls about. Definitely reminds me of like a thieves refuge in a, in a way. Various goods from all over Tamriel, right? And building off the elsewhere theme as well. Lots of windows. That's Nice brightness to this place. Wow, this is such a huge area. So definitely a place for lots of people to come through. Lots of people kind of hiding from from the law here. <laughs> Where's this? This this is Lot Lorian's Hall of Lunar Champion, continuing with the Builder Spotlight of Lot Lorian. Been absolutely fantastic so far to see all these different homes corresponding to their different characters. Pirate captain here. Pirate captain home. Yeah, lots of people coming through. Place to escape and re recuperate. Eat and drink. Peddle some goods. Just don't ask too many questions. <laughs> Downstairs market as well. I'll have to make my way to that. Just enjoying all the details from all the different stalls here. Let's see, can I get up on the balcony? I don't think I can. I can go down though, can I always jump down where the slaughterfish are? Uh, oh, there is more. Okay, it looks like there's a path down. Cool, cool, cool. Might be a little frightening. It's pretty happy up here, food and brightness with the lanterns and everything, kind of like making everything look attractive so it uh, sells well, right? I'm wondering if there are darker things down below. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll be fine. Okay, going down. 
Oh, and Walt Lorraine says a doll of their houses are open and are on the housing hub with stories as well. Right, so if you go into the essential housing tools housing hub, you can see all of these background stories are on here too. So that's a great way to do it. So if you've enjoyed any of these and want to see them in more detail, you can go import to any of them using EHT. Thank you, thank you. Okay, more goods down below, going deeper, deeper. I really like how you've used these so far great balconies. High aisle walkways, high aisle walkways. Um, are really fantastic for this. They're a little bit more kind of like well set in place. Makes it feel pretty robust and built in. Oh, busy port down below. Awesome, awesome. I love that with all the ships coming in. Cool, cool. This is where everything gets trafficked in then. Okay, some more stalls down below. Fresh things and ships aplenty. This is like a fantastic place for it when elsewhere because it's naturally secluded because it's down in this this waterway here, right? I imagine there would be like a secret path out so that they they don't get followed in. Probably well protected. Yeah, very, very secluded here. But still open up. It's like really kind of magical that way. Hide many things here. Exactly, exactly. Poking around the different places. Uh, a couple treasures here. Pirates, not very trusting, guarding those very, very fiercely, right? <laughs> lots of treasure means lots of opportunity. Oh, is that our captain? It is, Ravina Melmanentum, the captain. Oh, we don't want to cross her. I'm an invited guest. We'll have a nice drink together and... Surrounding herself with motifs of death. Yeah, I don't want to double cross her. <laughs> ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> oh, perfect. Wait, where's my pirate pirate emote? There we go. Perfect. Yo, a, a little a little threat. Oh, I like the sword sword there. That's fun. It really matches the style of what you're wearing too. That's fun. She has her private bedroom here. Ooh, it's nicely lit up with a window light. Can get some inspiration. Maybe has a lead about more treasure to go plunder. Ancient secret somewhere. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. And I will go off to your... Yeah, the lights from the windows. Yeah, they, they aren't always super reliable, are they? <laughs> it looks fantastic casting the light on the bed there. Okay, on to the final home of the night, and then we'll wrap up this special builder spotlight. Thank you again, Lothlorian. Okay, last one was going to be your Vlothi Reverie. Thank you everybody in Twitch chat for joining along with us as well. And if you've been joining from the VOD, if you could please follow or subscribe from that, that'd be fantastic as well. Lots of housing inspiration here. Okay, Velothi Reverie. What do we know about this one? Mushrooms and fire. Oh, I see the mushrooms. They say, when the previous owner, Dunmer Magus, moved out, he left her in... Uh, we le he left his entire collection of magical artifacts, including magical mushrooms and magma stones. After centuries, this place was discovered by Miri on her travels, and she decided to make this her safe space. 
Uh, temporary camp in the back cave. Luckily, she does not mind a little bit of lava. Oh, I kind of like how this is a little bit, like, it'll be a bit of a contrast because it's so blue here, but there's going to be lava in the back. So, I'm looking forward to that. Weather changing machine? I know, I know. They turn it off during the rain. Yeah, the lights from the windows seem to be based off of the weather cycle. The weather cycle is quite unpredictable and unreliable, and it doesn't even show up the same for everybody in the house. <laughs> so I'm hoping, hoping they fix that at some point. Get around to some sort of a solution for it would be... Very optimistic since they added a couple of uh, day of... Uh, time of day control devices, right? With the sacred hourglass and the chronometer. Okay, fun, fun, fun. So a lot of magical things were left behind here, and then Mary kind of moved in. <laughs> okay, so I like that. Oh, and so this is that lovely pool from Galen, but actually used, like, right side up. Oh, I love the little bridges that you've added. Can I go for a swim? A little swim? No, okay. Mushrooms, perfect. Especially like going into Necrom, right? With uh, next chapter, revisiting Morrowind lands, fishing along. Oh, that's clever. Wait, where did Mary go? <laughs> where did Mary go? I, th I thought she walked here. Oh, wait, is there a way in? Oh, that you can go out into the courtyard. So this this is so crazy because this is all inside of the house, but it looks like we're outside, right? It looks like we're in like an outside, very mushroomy garden or like a cave. But it doesn't feel like you're in a house because of all the water and everything around, right? And the amazing, amazing path. And so this will go outside and... Maybe where Mary had gone, too. Oh, and then we have a totally different scene. Oh, okay, cool, with a contrast. I think I'm stuck in the rock. Okay, good. <laughs> so it would have maybe been the previous odor there. I see, I see. With the lava. Oh, this is so cool. So we go from very blue with the water, very tranquil with the fishing and everything. Gl blue glowy mushrooms to lava and heat and that's fun especially for a dark elf kind of known for being around lava oh can i just walk on top of this without dying i think i can oh that's cool that's cool oh that must be the former owner very vain <laughs> i like their i like their kind of headdress going on lava as a furnishing uh, yeah, so the cool thing about... You can get this flowing lava as a furnishing from the Galen Achievement Furnishing Vendor. And you can do it one of two ways. You can either have it just flowing down a kind of channel, or you can flip it upside down, and then it's a little bit more flat on the bottom, and you can kind of make pools with it. So... Yeah, there's lava anymore as a furnishing. So that's, that's a cool thing that they've added fairly recently. I mean, housing only keeps getting more and more fun furnishings and bigger structural pieces and fun interactive animated things and more features, base game features. So housing housing within ESO only keeps getting better. And it's been amazing to be along for the journey on that because you can just make these so believable, so immersive, so much kind of in tune with how your characters are. And we've seen that today as we've been going and visiting all of Lurian's homes and seeing how her different characters are. How they live and... kind of what their hobbies and work are like. And I think that will do it. Are you, are you popping in here on a final character? Or is this more like Mar Mary... Merry home. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you a lot, Larian. Thank you again. So that will. Mary, Mary, Mary is a character here. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I thought. 
Okay, fantastic. So we can go from that very cool inside to the very hot outside. And again, completely changing that up too with with all the dark rocks with the red ivies making it feel like even more of a lava feel. So perfect attention to the colors and everything. Love that. Love that. It's like it's playing with a little fireball there. More houses. I'll look forward to more houses. Yeah, I'll continue to do a lot of housing tours here on the live stream at twitch.tv slash jhar ellis or I often put things up on my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe for free there. That'd be fantastic. So thank you again, Lotlurian. Absolutely fantastic. Love to see what you can do with housing and ESO and make it your own, personalize it, make it fit a character, tell a story with it, right? Have some backstory, have some character development there. It's fun, fun, fun. And that will do it for the VOD. Thank you and stay spicy. Keep the moon in your heart. Ooh.